So yesterday, Twitter was blowing up because Kim Kardashian West says that she wants to be a lawyer by the year 2020. So in this video, we're gonna talk about it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, sometimes what I like to do is pull different topics from the news or pop culture or what's trending and try to see what lessons we can learn from it. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, I actually had a, a longtime subscriber DM me about this, um, but I saw it going on on Twitter yesterday. I'm like, what's going on with this? But anyways, one of my subscribers, um, they're actually a lawyer. So I was like, okay, I'll look into it a little bit. So I started browsing around on Twitter and seeing what this article was about. There's like articles about the article that Vogue did on Kim Kardashian. And here's the little lowdown of it. So Kim Kardashian in a recent Vogue article talks about how she wants to be a lawyer by the year 2022. And basically she's been doing a lot of reading and she talked uh, in an interview about like some tests that she's taken and the different types of law and all of that. And she's been interested in it. So those of you who don't know, Kim Kardashian's father was actually one of the lawyers in the OJ Simpson trial way back in the day. Some of you are too young to remember this trial. Hell, I was young when that trial was going on. But um, her father was part of that trial and she talks about in that article how she was just really interested in law and all of that. And now she's like reading and studying and basically what she's trying to do is what some might deem as a shortcut path. So as with many things in different states, the laws are different, okay? So something that's mentioned in the article that I'll link down below is that in the state of California, like you don't need this like huge big degree to become, I believe, what they call a law reader, okay? So this this has upset a lot of people. Uh, some people are just trolling. But anyways, what I like to do when I look at these situations going on in our society, seeing what's upsetting people, seeing why people are upset, like something that helps me like with developing empathy is trying to get inside the mind or the mindset of people who are upset by these types of things, right? Because, you know, for me personally, I sit there, I'm like, okay, Kim Kardashian wants to become a lawyer. I don't really care, but people do care, right? And I've just always been fascinated with human nature and our thought processes and like the human mind and psychology and all that stuff. So I'm sitting there and I'm trying to look at the different reasons why people are upset about this. So one of them is like, for example, um, the, the subscriber who DM'd me about this, like she's a lawyer right and and i've talked to her a bit and she's put in a lot of work and uh, i've talked to her about law school and everything and there was a lot of work and a lot of effort going into that so for for people who practice law or are in law school or have graduated law school i can see people looking at this like and getting upset about it right because for some people like it can seem like a slap in the face like a slap in the face like oh you think you could do what i did Right? Like you think that you could just waltz in here, read some books, pass a test, and you could do this, right? And I, I think some of that, you know, affects like our pride even. Just like, um, you know, I would imagine just even me upsetting some uh, licensed mental health professionals with the type of content that I've done because they've put so much time and schooling and invested a lot of money into their degrees. So I can see how they can get upset. Like, oh, this guy can just make a YouTube channel, read some books and thinks he knows everything about mental health. And by the way, that's not how I'm trying to come off. <laughs> I'm just really interested in this stuff and like to share what I've learned with other people. And I could see why people who have practiced law get upset about this. The other thing too that I'm that I'm really trying to recognize like what's going on in our society right now is the college admission scandal, okay? That's a whole thing I didn't do a video about, but the college admission scandal with uh, Aunt Becky, um, like that that is that is a big issue too because Basically, the, one of the reasons like people are so, so, so upset about that is because the privileged get way more opportunity than the average person. All right, like so with the college admission scandal, it's just, you know, come up like through an FBI F, uh, investigation, and everything like that, that these like rich, famous parents were paying their ways, uh, their kids way 
into these prestigious colleges. Um, and like there's a bunch of like mail fraud and uh, like false information and everything like that. And for the average person, like most people in the United States, this isn't the way things go, right? There's a lot of work, a lot of effort, on, you know, you gotta hope that you get a scholarship. So I understand why society is really, really, really upset about this. So when people are looking at Kim Kardashian talking about being a lawyer, like a lot of people are seeing, you know, this, this woman who pretty much became famous just for being her, right? Like no like great achievements or accomplishments or anything like that. And now she's just gonna, you know, practice law, like what, what is this, right? Because the average person doesn't, you know, have that opportunity, you know what I mean? Like one of the things is like, I get a lot of people who are like, well, why don't you just go back to school? Why don't you go back to school? Like, I hate to break it to you, but school costs a lot of money a lot of money and not everybody wants to rack up hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt or tens of thousands of dollars in debt or even just thousands of dollars in debt you know what i mean and i and i so i can definitely relate to that when you see people who are you know already just you know or or even born with this silver spoon in their mouth that's one of the reasons why a lot of people got upset with uh kim kardashian's little sister can't remember if it was kendall or kylie was it kylie jenner who was like the self-made like you know richest young woman or whatever and like a lot of people disagree with that because she was born into you know uh a wealthy family. She had opportunities that the average person didn't have. So before I dive a little bit more deep into this, the one thing that I will say, like I always try to like be an optimist about these situations. And I try to see, okay, what, what good is Kim Kardashian doing, right? What, what good can come out of this? And for example, like she met with Donald Trump and got um, somebody released from prison who was in there for some BS charges and everything like that. Like that's kind of cool. And that might've ignited her her idea to get into the law field, right? But I also think, you know, there's some positives because it can it can let people know, some people know that like, no matter where you're at in life, you can go back to school or you can pursue a new passion or whatever it is and, and do that thing. Like a lot of people, like I meet a lot of people who are like, I'm too old to do this, I can't do this anymore, da 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 da. Like, and I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that in one bit because I was a drug addict and alcoholic for about a decade of my life and it was from 18 to uh, my 27th birthday. I wasted a lot of years and now I'm just now uh, doing something with my life. You know what I mean? And I'm 33 years old now. So I meet people who are in their early 20s who are like, I don't know what to do and uh, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, like chill with that stuff. Like you have plenty of time to figure out what you wanna do and pursue something. Now, don't get me wrong, like I've already mentioned, not everybody is gonna have the financial opportunities that Kim Kardashian has to pursue certain things. So what is the solution? What is the solution to this for people who are upset about this? The one thing that I will say, and I, like I've mentioned and I've touched on a little bit, um, like I'm gonna be talking about politics. Like there are some candidates who promote free college. Like, think about that for a second. Like, that would solve a lot of the issues. Now, I'm not gonna dive into the whole economics of it and where's the money gonna come from and all this other stuff, right? But it's just something to think about because I've just always been of the belief, not always, but <laughs> since working on my mental health and my own anger issues and all these other things, is like, you know, one of the things I, I, I say at the beginning of every video is we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. Like, sitting here, complaining about Kim Kardashian becoming a lawyer is getting absolutely nothing done. Like find candidates who support the views that you think that should be out there, right? Like maybe free college so more people have, it's a it's an even playing field. Like think about that kind of stuff and get your butt out there and vote. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a lot of us waste far too much time focusing on the things that we have absolutely no control over. And if we would just harness that energy into thinking about possible solutions. And for me, when it comes to Kim Kardashian wanting to become a lawyer, I'm, trying, I'm sitting here and thinking like, this does not affect me in any way, shape or form if Kim Kardashian becomes a lawyer. Now, again, trying to get into the mindset of people who are upset about this, it's like, yeah, a lawyer is a pretty like important job, right? Like you wouldn't want somebody becoming like a doctor in like a couple years, you know what I mean? Um, but like, I could see that kind of risk or danger. So it's like, what can you do? Hyper-focus on what you can do. What can you do about that? What can you do about that? Can you vocalize this? Can you look at like, 
California laws and the easy path to becoming a lawyer? Is that something that needs to be reformed? What are the solutions? You know, start getting into the, that mindset because if not, we're just stuck in the problem and we're not finding anything that could possibly make the situation any better. But if you're like me and you just, it's not really affecting you, you do you, baby. All right, but anyways, let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down in the comments below. Let me know why you think it's affecting you. Like, if you leave a comment that says it's just not fair, like, I want you to dive deeper into that and say, why is it not fair? What is the root cause of this issue, right? Because something I had to learn a long, long time ago, which helped me a lot, is realizing life isn't fair, the world doesn't owe me anything, and all I can do is what I can do, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get access to our monthly Q&A and some other benefits, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.